Hello everybody, I just want to come on here and make a really quick video talking about something I think is actually really stupid because I feel like people are just kind of blowing this up and not really listening to people and like trying to have a proper conversation. Uh, if you didn't know, there is a game coming out called Unrecorded. It's a body cam footage game where you take the role of a police officer and you're doing all this stuff and the game is from the perspective of a body cam and it looks really realistic it looks almost like scarily realistic right i think that it's kind of a cool idea the graphics look really really like stellar it almost reminds me of unreal 5 and what they're trying to do over there but the real thing that i feel like people are kind of missing now i want to preface me personally i'm not really interested in the premise of the game because, you know, I've seen this kind of stuff, like, all over the place. I've seen it with, like, mods and, like, something like Gmod, right? Where they have the realism stuff. Or something like Tarkov. Or something like Ready or Not. Or SWAT 4, right? I've seen this kind of stuff basically doing the same thing over and over. I don't find it interesting. Nor have I ever. But I do think that the graphical fidelity of this game is really something because it seems like they're using 3d scanned areas and then using really high fidelity graphics and lighting to then elevate it and then putting it behind this visage and veil to kind of hide any flaws by using the perspective of a fish island to give the illusion of a body cam which I find kind of interesting. I think it'd be really good for like a horror game or something like that with almost how we've seen with like PT before, right? Because there, that's how that was kind of done. If any of you want, remembers what PT was and how that kind of was changing up how people kind of looked at horror games. But back into like the actual really pressing issues, people just are mad at people having an opinion about this game. Some people are like, well, maybe this is a little too realistic and we should like tread carefully, right? And then people come out of the woodworks and go, oh, they're doing it again. Oh, video games are bad. Oh, they're, 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 it's, it's Mortal Kombat all over again. It's Doom. It's, it's, it's that one black and white game, uh, whatever it's called, that people thought would turn people into like mass killers or anything like that. When... In reality, from everything that I see of people like complaining about this game is either A, you're just being put into a police body cam, which kind of sounds rather like inappropriate, I guess, because it's like, okay, you know, the times we live in, that's certainly like, that's going to be fun for everyone, right? Like, come on have some self-awareness uh then there's also just people coming out here and being like oh they're trying to attack us again whenever the only thing people are trying to say is hey maybe we should tread lightly with this because this is what people are talking about people will now use this for an agenda to push to say that video games are violent or cause violence right and the uncomfortable idea that potentially these can be used for really bad things and that is having self-awareness of understanding like yeah that might happen maybe we should like make sure that this is kind of like controlled or uh curated to not end up getting that kind of reputation maybe or games like this that are then inspired after this you know that, that's like a survival horror game or a survival game or so on because you know like a survival game that's kind of like this where you're out in the forest you got to survive and it's just like a body cam kind of like those survivor man like tv shows that'd be kind of cool but anyway like that's kind of why people are complaining it's not some hysteria of oh video games are bad and sure Yes, I'm sure there's going to be one or two people out there or some vocal people that are screaming for the rooftops of saying that this is bad. But 99% of the people that are complaining are 
justified in that complaint and that complaint is coming from a place of worry and most of the people that are complaining or worrying about it are gamers themselves that are like hey i don't want my hobby to end up being demonized or start getting even a worse name for it right but people are going to be people and then automatically try and be contrarians and scream for the rooftops calling everyone sensitive and snowflakes or that they can't handle anything or they would never handle blank back in the day or they've always tried to do this. They're trying to do it again. Like, let's be real. We can kind of tell who's the sensitive one in those situations, right? But anyway... I just thought it was something to talk about, and I thought it was really kind of stupid that people are just kind of not having any, like, self-awareness or kind of realizing that the people that are upset at the people that are just kind of worried are sounding exactly like the people that the people who are worried are talking about, just in a completely opposite way, like on the opposite end of the spectrum, right? In terms of, like, what they're actually talking about. But the exact same emotion and the exact same just screaming and name-calling and all this other stuff, it's honestly really silly. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's it. Bye.